Hey everybody, it's Thursday and it's time to run the bases. Today we're going to talk about the pocket, playing in time, how important all those things are for all of us musicians. Speaking for myself, it's something I always have to be aware of and work on and hopefully play with people that have good time because it only takes one person in the ensemble to throw the whole thing off. We hope that everybody's working on their time out there. I know that I need to keep working on mine. We're going to continue talking about Tommy Cogbill today, the great Tommy Cogbill. Last week we looked at respect by Aretha Franklin. This week we're just going to look at a couple uh, two bar examples, one chord grooves that he played. The first one is Funky Broadway by Wilson Pickett and the second one is Chain of Fools by Aretha. Let's look at Funky Broadway first. It's a two bar groove, two bar groove, two bars means one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. For all you non-musical folks. So it's something like this, one, two, one, two, three, four. That's pretty much the, the bass line for that entire tune. There's some variations here and there, and there's some stops in the song, but that's pretty much the line for the whole tune. So it's it's kind of a question and answer thing. A lot of R&B and soul bass lines are based on like two and four bar motifs, where it's a question and answer. So the question is, and the answer is, Question, answer, question, answer. That's one of them. Let's take a look at Chain of Fools. That's also a two bar motif and the same type of thing, like a question and answer. There's a lot of variations in this because it's once again, it's a one chord vamp for the whole song, except for some stops and stuff. So he plays a lot of variations, but the basic line is this. One, two, three, four. So that's the basic line. So once again, it's question and answer. The first, the question at part of it, the first bar is starts on the downbeat, and the second bar, the answer, starts on the end of one, because the end of four is tied over from the previous bar. So Like I said, there's a lot of variations, but it's super cool. So dig into both of those tunes and check them out and listen to the great Tommy Cogbill weave his beautiful time and pocket and variations through those two simple one chord vamp songs, Funky Broadway by Wilson Pickett and Chain of Fools by Aretha Franklin. And one more thing, Mustang Sally, the most misinterpreted bass line maybe of all time. A song that usually gets completely hacked to pieces, but with the right people playing it, it's really a blast to play. Once again, it's Tommy Cogbill playing on it. There are some variations, but the bass line's very simple, and it's this. That's the line, and this is the cool note. Flat five, and the key is C, it's G flat. So the line is. Once again, Tommy Cogbill. There's three little Tommy Cogbill examples for you. So let's all think about playing in time and having a good pocket and being a, a supportive musician for everybody else. Even you soloists out there need to have good time so we can all sound good. That's it for today, everybody. Have a great day. See you next week.